Yo, what's good everybody? So, I'm back in Jefferson, Ohio. I believe I was here last week. Um, I was coming through. I'm still just coming through. Um, somehow I ended up at the same truck stop again, but um, it is what it is. I'm picking up a load tomorrow in Kentucky and I'm taking it to Illinois. So, um, yeah. So I want to tell y'all about what happened to me on Monday. I ended up getting a flat tire um so yeah i'm gonna tell y'all that story so um this isn't the first time i got a flat um you will get flats out here you know you're gonna have tires you know i've had i've been riding on the highway and had a trailer tire blow out on me before you know these things happen out here um you know even if you do check everything and make sure everything's right even if you do check to make sure the air pressure is good and all that these things can just still happen freak you know freak accidents freak uh incidents just things just happen so um basically um you know let's rewind it a little bit to friday um on friday i was in wisconsin and i got a load from wisconsin to charlotte and um, luckily I made it, uh, I set it up to where I could make it. So, um, you know, I Friday I was trying to make it to Indianapolis and I actually made it a little bit past Indianapolis, stopped at the rest area and then woke up the next morning um, when I got my time back and drove the rest of the way. So I got to Charlotte on um, Saturday, um, got to do a reset spent some time at the um crib so you know i got lucky with with the load and everything like that so um basically i had the load i had i had to deliver it to uh unc charlotte's campus um their university I had to deliver that on um on monday so uh woke up monday uh went went to where i parked my truck at and like always i do my pre-trip make sure everything's right um you know make sure the lights are working everything make sure all the tires are inflated all the good preacher stuff that that uh you're supposed to do so um you know i always go around and i hit my tires with a hammer just to you know make sure they're all inflated inflated and you know not flat so uh i always start off on the driver's side and i work my way around to the passenger side check all the tires so check my uh driver's side tires you know the it's the steers, the drives, check the uh, trailer tires. Those are good. Go on the other side of the trailer, check those. Those are good. Get up to the drive, uh, the drive tires on the passenger side and hit the inside um, rear tire with my hammer. And it's just like, dude, like, um, you know, drivers out there, y'all know that noise. Like, that's not a good sounding noise. Y'all don't want to hear that, that sort of dull thud noise. Like, you know what I'm saying? but um you know that's the noise i heard and i'm like oh shoot you know i knew the air was out of the tire and so I, you know i'm looking at it, inspecting it. i can see the tire then pulled away from the rim so i'm like you know i mean it's not it's not off the rim it's just you know when the tire is not uh inflated you know it doesn't uh fit on the rim um like it's supposed to so i could tell that so anyways um what I did was I called maintenance. Uh, luckily, you know, our maintenance staff, uh, we got a pretty good maintenance staff. So I called them and, um, um, you know, just let them know, hey, uh, I got a flat tire. Um, you know, I let them know because I've actually experienced um, a flat drive tire before, but it was on my driver's side so um i learned from the last time what to do so basically i told him hey i'm i'm gonna go deliver this load anyways i'm just gonna drive slow um you know i was driving about 45 miles per hour maybe um like 45 50 miles per hour um you know i, I the load i only had to deliver it was uh the load the uh, university was only uh 17 miles away so it wasn't that far so I just got I got on the highway, turned my four ways on, and uh, just made my way to the university. So, anyways, but uh, I think I said let me rewind it a little bit. So, um, I told the maintenance guy what was going on, whatever. He said he would set it up to you know 
go ahead and deliver that load um, and uh, you know he'll set it up to um, you know I can get it repaired go somewhere get it repaired afterwards so anyways um, I'm thinking the whole time I'm thinking like it's just I done ran over something maybe or you know it's probably just a leak that they can patch up real quick so anyways I get to the university uh, unstrap my load they on they uh unload me and you know i call my i call the maintenance guy he says hey um yeah he's looking for some uh vendors nearby or whatever now the first one that he called they said they had a two-hour wait but um you know well let me just tell you all the story the first one he called he said they had a two-hour wait and he said uh let me see he was gonna see if he could find another one to where I didn't have to wait that long. So anyways, he was looking around, he looked a bunch of places and the last place he wanted to look was this Love's travel stop. For some reason, they don't, they wanna stay away from Love's. Um, well, I don't know if they don't wanna, I don't know if they wanna stay away from Love's. It's just, that was the last one. For some reason, it seemed like he wasn't trying to uh, send me to Love's, maybe because of the prices or whatever, but I'm not sure, but anyway, so. Um, I think the first one he was talking about, the one with the two hour wait, I think that's the last one I've been to when my other tire was flat. So, but, uh, anyway, so, um, eventually he just went with the loves, uh, the loves travel stop or whatever he, for some, somehow, some reason he just decided to do that one. Cause I think their wait was only an hour. And like I said, the other places was like two hour wait and i think the other places he might have called too as well they were two hour waits as well so anyways so i ended up getting to the loves um and uh i pulled that like i checked in and literally when i checked in they were like yeah go ahead pull in the bay one so i pulled right in so i'm thinking oh cool i'm gonna be in and out of here there's gonna be no wait at all y'all i sat there for literally over four hours for them to put another tire on this truck now i thought that this was just going to be a quick fix i thought this was just going to be like you know they're going to patch it or whatever it's probably a small hole or something they're going to patch it and it's going to be you know i'm going to be back on the road no for some reason it took them four hours and then on top of that they didn't even put they didn't put my tire they didn't fix my tire now they put a new tire on it and they put a steer tire on here so i got a steer tire on my drives right now so um yeah so that's what happened so i'm i'm literally was there for four hours um finally got out of there had enough time to make it to uh roxboro um and made a fuel stop in between as well and i made it there with uh they stopped loading at seven o'clock and i made it there at 6 30 so i made it there with some time left to where they could i was the last person getting loaded i was the last person tarping it was dark it like it was dark out and i was the only one out there it was funny but uh so yeah um yeah that's pretty much what happened i had to wait four hours for them to put a uh to put a steer tire on my drive tire now the reason why they said it took so long which i didn't know at the time was they were saying that they were waiting for my company to get back to them to approve you know if they could put it on there but i'm thinking like why didn't y'all just tell me that because i'm thinking like man what's because i'm you know i'm getting up and i know these mechanics you know it takes time to time to do these things and stuff like that so but at one point like you know i was getting up and i would like walk to my truck and just look around like you know kind of just look at them like you know what are y'all doing in here so but uh yeah they were waiting for my company to call them back and i'm thinking like why didn't y'all just tell me that man like i could have reached out to him and i probably could have got a quick answer or something but you know it is what it is like i said you have to deal with these things out here uh i'm not complaining it is what it is nothing is perfect in life so you know when you get out here don't think things are gonna go perfect um so but everything worked out i still got to deliver my load today like i wanted to and i got another load already um got to drive to uh kentucky tomorrow pick up this load i had to stop because i was long time i was 
under an hour anytime i under i'm under an hour i just go ahead and stop when you know at the nearest place so um yeah so that was my little story i had for y'all but uh yeah thank y'all for watching i appreciate it uh I'm trying to get better at these youtube videos so um if y'all want to see more videos go ahead and subscribe um I'll probably in the future start doing videos um, outside of the truck, just showing y'all certain things, maybe. But um, a lot of times when I'm out on the road, um, I just be trying to get, you know, trying to get down the road and trying to get my securements done. And I don't want to, you know, take time trying to set up cameras because, you know, um, you know, time is very important in trucking. So um, a lot of my videos are just me at night in the truck you know with nothing to do so that's why i do them at night just in case y'all wondering but anyways thank y'all for watching i appreciate it make sure y'all hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and uh i'll see y'all in the next video peace